Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? It's uh, Stack in the South, back with another brand new fantastic video. Okay, maybe not fantastic, but another video, that's for sure. Um, let's see, this one's going to be a little different. I didn't buy any silver or anything like that. I'm going to try and not make my videos rely on my purchases. Um, I've done that. My video, my channel has been a big show and tell, and that's fine. And I don't plan on getting away from that too much, but I am going to try to put out videos that aren't just me showing off what I found at the local coin store. Um, and today, I'm going to start off with uh, a mail call. I'm going to be careful opening this thing because I don't know exactly what's in here, but uh, it's been a pretty good day. Um, I had something I ordered, um, limited edition, something um, online a few weeks ago. Oh man, the, the post office, I don't know what they did. I think they mailed it, delivered it to the wrong box and someone picked it up and it hasn't done the right thing with it um, so far. But I did get an email from the people I purchased the item from, which of course sold out within, I don't know, a couple hours. Definitely the next day they were all gone. But, um, you know, post office, they're worthless. Um, if anyone works for the post office, I apologize. I don't mean to be insulting. But seems like around here, let me move this over a little bit. Just drive me nuts. Hey, buddy. My little boy's in here. Um, but around here, they seem to lose a lot of packages. I've had stuff that people have sent me coins um, and, you know, the letters slit, the coins missing, so on and so forth. I've had stuff just not make it. Um, this, I believe, was delivered, but I believe it was delivered to the wrong box. Anyway. I emailed the company, you know, they told me to put in, put in a, um, you know, claim with the post office. I don't expect anything from the post office, but I did email the company I bought this stuff from and they said, well, once you get that number from the post office, email us back. So I did and I waited a few days and just now, after I got home, I got the email saying that they, um, they thanked me for getting them that information and they're going to go ahead and, uh, ship me out. A whole new order without without uh, actually charging me extra so um, man that made my whole day made my whole whole day so um, plus we got four rivers barbecue bought for us at lunch today so I'm definitely not going to complain about that um, but what I'm gonna do all right what I want to do is start with uh, my international uh, letter I got today and I was like what the heck did I get from an international. I couldn't remember. And then I said, oh yeah, 365. 365 is sending stuff out. And I, I got one. So here's a card with the QR code. That is, that's brilliant right there. Um, I had some stickers till I accidentally washed the whole entire pack in the pocket of my pants. Um, they had the QR code for my channel. Uh, that's a great idea. I mean, that's all I'm saying. And here's a sticker. Just 365, man. Clean, clean. I love it. But not only that, that's not even the best part. The best part is right here. Look at that. And that's that's pretty nice. I mean, that's like a real poker chip. I don't I'm sure it is a real poker chip. Obviously, it's not gonna have any value in a casino. But that's really cool. Um Yeah. I think I need to get some new stickers, you know, I, and I still don't have a design. I'm, I don't know what to do. Um, my buddy, he, and I know, I don't want to ask him about it because I know he was having some, some troubles or, you know, things like that, but I'm still trying to work on stickers and, you know, seeing this kind of, you know, gave me another idea. So anyway, um, but what I want to talk about today while I'm drinking black water, which doesn't taste really good, but um, I don't know, this is Delta 9 THC, 3 milligrams. Doesn't taste super great, but uh, I'm going to drink it. We got these up in Birmingham, so the old lady, she didn't care for them much, so I'm going to drink them for her. Alrighty. Let's see, anything else in that package? All right. So what I want to do is talk about value of some things in my collections, right? You know, I'm not, I didn't get out a whole lot of stuff, but I just basically, you know, 
we we all stack silver and precious metals for a reason, right? There's value in it. Uh, the value will increase, so on and so forth. Uh, we all have our own reasons. Um, I mean, it's like a kind of like a turbocharged savings account that I can actually save money in. Because as you know, I've never been able to save cash very well. Flows like water in one hand out, out the other. Um, but now, I mean, the amount of silver I have stacked up is pretty good for. I just don't spend a little bit of extra money in month. You know, I'm not putting out tons. I've averaged probably 10 to 12 ounces a month for the last, you know, year plus. Uh, the last couple months, I uh, have not kept on it, but you guys know why. Man, weddings and things like that aren't expensive. But, you know, I just whipped out my probably single most valuable coin at this point, right? This one. Five ounce Libertad, 2023. Y'all know it. Y'all love it. Okay, not everyone loves it. I love it. And this one, I paid 163 for it pretty quickly after they came out. And, you know, looking online, last price I saw from a, you know, reputable boy on dealer was about 180 something. But on eBay, these things are already gone for more than that. So this has already increased in value since I purchased it. Um, do I plan on getting rid of it anytime soon? Hell no. Um, but it does increase in value. You know, like the rest of my silver. Um, I've yet to sell anything, even though I'm considering a, a, a rifle purchase, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, so, as y'all know, I collect other things. Uh, we'll just start with this since it's right here. Hot Wheels, right? Y'all saw this one yesterday. Um, Akadaka said, don't open it. I have another one in the box, so fret not. Hot Wheels. Do they have an intrinsic value? No, not really. Um, you know, I can't buy one and know that, you know, five, 10 years down the road, I'm gonna be able to make a bunch of money off it. It just doesn't work like that. Uh, I feel like most of the ones I purchase will probably not really be worth much unless I keep them in the packages uh, like this for a considerable amount of time, right? Uh, I don't know. I only have so much time left on this planet. Am I gonna be holding on to those things for 30, 40 years? Probably not. But with that being said, I bought this one a few years ago. This is one of my first premium purchases and one of my first haulers. And wait, this what this is is a 69 Nissan van. Uh, slammed, you know, uh, Skyline van, I should say. And, uh, you know, came on this hauler. It's an ad van livery. It's not super flash or anything, but. You know, people go nuts for and these Datsuns and, and the, you know, the Nissans, man. They just go ballistic for it. Um, and this one, if it was in the package, sells pretty steady. Or I don't know about steady, but they have gone for, you know, upwards of $100 for that one alone. Um, I don't know. I know I have a couple more that, you know, I could probably get people to pay a little bit of stupid money. But I, again... I don't buy these things to sell them. I buy them for my personal pleasure. Um, but you know, I think the vast majority of my Hot Wheels probably, I don't know, probably won't get me much money in the end, but that's not the point I collect those. And that's not the point why I collect these other things too. But you know, since we're talking about collections and how much things may or may not be worth, I bought this one a few years ago. Sorry if I can't get all this in. Um, mud mouth, right? I don't think anyone's gonna know who this is, but this is Yellow Wolf. Um, he's a rapper, white guy. Um, I know most of you guys probably don't even aren't even into it, but this is a. There's only a certain amount of these made, right? These are very limited edition. It's a double forty-five. Um, you know which actually has amazing sound quality. They're extra thick, 180 grain tape. They come with all kinds of stuff in here. You know, here's a an ugly ass picture with an all blotter paper, but it, you know, it all comes in this. And so we're talking this record right here. I paid a few, a couple years ago for it, $70. These things are going for 200 plus right now, 200 plus. Um, I ain't selling it, but you know, people will pay stupid money for records. Records I don't find to be the same drain of money like Hot Wheels, right? 
Hot Wheels, again, I don't think most of them are going to be worth money. That's for my pleasure. And also, so are records. But as y'all know, records are becoming more and more popular as time goes on. And here's another one. This probably, without a doubt, my most valuable records. I probably have a few more in there that are probably pretty pricey if I went through them all. But Stevie Nicks, I believe this was a Walmart exclusive a couple years ago. I bought it. Double disc, clear vinyl. And you can't find this for under 300 bucks now. 300 bucks. I paid 40 I believe, at Walmart couple years ago. It's a great album. Great, great, great album. Absolutely amazing. Um, but you know, I looked on there and I had $300. Man, I had, about, I had a heart attack when I saw that. No way I'm selling it. That's mine. I'm going to keep that. Hopefully, I'll pass this stuff down to my son or my daughter. I have a daughter. She's an adult. I don't talk about it too much. She lives kind of on doing her own thing. Um, Maybe one day these will end up in their collection. Most likely my son's because I don't think my daughter really cares that much about vinyl or anything like that. But, you know, I'm going to pass that stuff down. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these Hot Wheels. I have well over a thousand. Less than two thousand, but well over a thousand. I have no idea. Uh, I've never counted a total. I lost count. I used to count. And I lost count about a hundred. And then I figured this is stupid. Um, I buy too many, you know, I can't keep track. I don't expect those to make me any money, but what I do is expect this to make me money down the road. This will make me money. And uh, these are just going to continue to gain value. But I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to continue to put them on the record player and enjoy them at 11. Um, just love music. It's my life. And uh, I just wanted to talk about that. So, so there are the things I collect do have value. Eh, just not like precious metals, right? I go in there and I have some bunch of limited edition concert posters. You know, there's 100, you know, 200 signed. Uh, I don't really expect those to go up much in value. Uh, maybe if I hold on to those long enough, but I don't know. There's a lot. It's like even for, for example, I found this other 69 Skyline band the other day. I've been looking for this one. This one's a hard one to find. I thought this might you know, command a pretty penny. I know I'm dropping everything on eBay. Turns out it does not. Not like this other one I have. I don't want to have $100. This one, I don't know. They're selling from anywhere from 8 to 15 bucks. Uh, and those are just scalpers. They're trash. But anyway... Kind of a weird video, kind of off the cuff, but um, it's Friday. I'll be setting up some Christmas stuff, waiting for my wife to get home. And I'm going to go out there and uh, harass my son for a little bit. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. I'm out. Sorry about the long video.